My name is Charity Kathure. I'm a former student at Capsabit Girls. I've come here to pick my results slip. I got a B minus. In the contrast to the confidence she now has, nine years ago Charity Kadure was not sure if she'd have much of a future. There was a time I was I was the mother to uh, was, my sisters were looking up to me because my father, my mother passed on. Sometimes back we were left alone. Yeah, it happened that it's just like a dream. In 2005, Isiolo County, we met 11-year-old Charity. Often at a tender age, she was responsible for maintaining their home and overseeing her younger siblings. In addition to meeting the needs of her siblings, they were struggling to keep themselves in school. Charity felt helpless and alone. We had no relatives, we don't know why. <laughs> Up to now, we were left in a house where even a bed there wasn't. There was, it was just floor. We had to struggle. We, at times we had to fight for our food because somebody who saw like you were a kid and you are carrying something that is, that is to help you will come like want to snatch so you fight them off. So I had to protect my sisters against men. Against, I had to protect myself also. But life took a different twist after NTV aired their plight. They were eager to begin a new life and put the past behind them. In 2007, we visited Charity and her younger sister in Lesos Primary School in the county of Nandi. And Harik was the national language or the official, official language of Ethiopia. Charity was in class 6. She had missed out on education, but now she had a second chance. Chosen, isn't it? So that he could rule in place of who? Zaidut. Are we together? Zaidut is a good person. Masi, her little sister, was then eight years old. Frightened, lonely, she had gone through what a child should never ever have to endure in life. Mary, Mary, open the window. Two years later, she had transformed to an energetic and vibrant girl. Mary, Mary, close the Marasmus. How do you treat Marasmus? What are the types of fruits that we know that are rich in vitamin C? Masi? Mangos. Mangos, yes. When I talk about sources, what do I mean? I talk about sources. The once devastated children were full of hope and life. That all people were supposed to take part in Charity completed primary education in 2009 and scored 402 marks. <laughs> she emerged the second best student in the school. In 2010, she joined Kapsabet Girls High School. I worked hard along, as alongside others. I asked why I didn't, but at, at times life was hard. I, the obviously the cold. Yeah, I did. I tried my best. <laughs> Masi sat for KCP in 2010 and scored 389 marks. She emerged the second best pupil and proceeded to high school. Uh, 
We caught up again with Charity this year as she went back to her former school to pick her result slip. I got a B minus. I hope to join campus. That is my hope because I made it through the job list. At least the cut point at least was raised a bit, was lowered a bit, so I made it. When are you to you? Reaching this far is not uh, an easy thing, I can say, but it has taken the hand of God, obviously. We got parents, they have been able to educate us. The life has changed because I can see we have a, we have a place to call home because we are treated like children of apparent. We've taken us through from class 4 to up to now I'm through with form 4 and my sister is in form 4. We thank God for that and we appreciate our parent for that. Mercy is a different girl today from the one we first met in 2005. She is all grown up. She is 18 years old. I'm a candidate. This is my final year in the school. I will never have imagined that I will be in my final year in Form 4. I can remember a lot when I used to live when I used to be a child. It was not that good to just be a kid in that environment, like to be just not having basic needs like food and even shelter. My sister used to just be there for us and also she's still the same, same sister I love her. The transformation is diverse, it's just wow, like 10 years ago I could not think of ever having gotten help and being helped to be studying and also having good school. Also I'm very grateful for the people who took us in as their children and accepted us the way we are. Charity, a first-year student at Karatina University, stands as a testimony to just how far determination and hard work can take you. For charity, what would have been once a far-fetched dream has turned to reality. She has peered into the very heart of pain, and what she has seen has transformed her. She has developed new skills and abilities, but above all, she has a new perspective on life. I take criminology, criminal justice and public safety in the School of Social Sciences. When I remember those days when I would say that I would like to speak in English, I would like to be like so and so, I like to be a lawyer, maybe, but uh, now it is coming to realization. There was a time it was hopeless, but at the moment it is, you can see hope because you are sure at the end of the day you are going to accomplish what you dreamt of. You're going to help your sisters. Your sisters won't go through what I went through. 20 year old Charity says she now feels more confident. After joining a public university where you are sure to get what you came here for, if you're determined, actually, I'm sure that is a dream that will come to realization. Today, she mentors other young girls from her hometown on the importance of education. 
it was like a way of giving back because I helped those who were behind me actually. They had no hope. When they see me at least, they have hope because they somewhere they are going. It is the little things in life that make the difference in the big picture. Yet in what seemed like a hopeless situation, there is hope and progress and the girls are determined to make the most chances to fulfill what should have been impossible dreams. Of which I pray to work at the courtroom because I want to, to be near court most of the time. Finish my form 4 well and get a good grade that will take me to my dream university which will help me to be a journalist. I want to be a journalist so that I can interact with others and people from all the walks of life, people who are rich, people who are poor. They are too familiar with the challenges facing orphans. They too aspire to help other disadvantaged children. Especially children like those who are below the teenage, like nine years, and to just give them something, to just give them a future, a bright future, and to also just light a candle in them. My advice to the girls, there are so many who can go through my situation, or worse than mine, or less. There is no one who doesn't go through a challenge. It's only about determination and prayer, obviously. When you're determined, you pray and you focus, actually. That is the only way. Don't lose hope, struggle. There is the right time that will come. God never lets your hard work go in vain. An inspiring message of hope, perseverance and determination. A story of triumph against the seemingly impossible. <laughs>